In this video, I'll show you how to convert between rectangular and polar coordinates. Question 1 reads, convert the rectangular coordinate point P which has the coordinates 3 and 4 to polar coordinates, then graph the vector. To do this question and to do all three of these questions, you'll need to know the following four formulas. Namely, the set shown here which allows us to go from rectangular coordinates over to polar coordinates. So what we've been given is x and y, and what we have to find is r, which is the radius, and theta. We'll start by finding r. r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. I'll fill in x and y with my coordinates, 3 squared plus 4 squared. This gives me 9 plus 16, and the square root of that is equal to plus minus 5. Next, we'll find out the angle. To find out the angle, we need to use the formula theta is equal to arctan y over x. Arctan means the inverse of tan. So we have the inverse tangent of y, 4 over 3. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees because our polar graph paper is in degrees. If they wanted it in radians, then you'd need to have your calculator also in radians. Let's go ahead and open up our calculator. Notice that it is already in degrees. So we have shift, tangent, that gives us tangent inverse, four over three, gives us 53 degrees. So we have a radius of plus minus five at an angle of 53 degrees. Now if we were to plot our point P, which has the coordinates three and four on a rectangular plane, we would end up with a point that's in the first quadrant. In other words, our point would be somewhere here. Now to show that point, we have two options. We have the option of when r is equal to positive 5 and when r is equal to negative 5. The difference between polar coordinates and rectangular coordinates is that this negative sign tells us the direction in which that vector is going. So if it's positive, it's going towards that angle that it represents. If it's negative, it shoots the other way. Here's what I mean by that. Let's start by plotting positive 5 at an angle of 53. Positive 5 at an angle of 53 means that we will have a vector that is 53 degrees, which is approximately there, and the length of that vector will be 5. And I'll just follow this circle. So our vector will be right there. That vector precisely represents 3 and 4. Because remember, we predicted that our point would be in the first quadrant. If I chose the negative 5, it would be going in the opposite direction. So our vector would be going in this direction at the same angle of 53 degrees because that's what a negative radius does. It represents direction. Now that vector does not represent the point 3 and 4. How can we adjust the angle so that it actually represents this point still? What you can do instead is take your angle that you found of 53 and add 180 to it, or if you're using radians, pi. That will end up giving you 233 degrees. So if you have a vector that has a radius of negative five and an angle of 233 degrees, watch what happens. 233 degrees is right there, and five, well, let's start with this circle and make our way all the way down to 233. Our vector would be 233 degrees, but instead of going this way, the negative would make it shoot that way. So it would still be this point. Therefore, our two answers that represent point P is positive five at an angle of 53 degrees and negative five at an angle of 233 degrees. That's the answer to question one. To find the solution to question two and three, make sure to watch part two of this series.